Hey friends, happy Sunday. I'm Sarah Baldwin and I'm back with another Sunday with Sarah video for you. Summertime is here. A lot of you are getting ready and making travel plans for travel this summer by plane, train, or automobile. And today I'm here to give you five tips to make traveling with children less stressful. But before I get into those tips, I just wanna thank you for your support. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the Sunday with Sarah uh, YouTube channel by clicking the link below. And if you find this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up at the end. So the first tip I have for you is to allow plenty of time. Now, if you're traveling by plane, I would recommend planning to get to the airport a full two hours early. You never know when you're gonna run into a long security line or there are unexpected delays. Uh, by leaving plenty of time and arriving early, you're gonna avoid a lot of last minute stress and worry about um, missing your flight. If you're traveling by car, plan your route ahead of time and plan on frequent stops to let children blow off steam and burn off energy. So figure out how many hours your trip is going to be and, and calculate every hour or two a 15 minute rest stop and that will tell you how much earlier you need to leave to get to your destination by time, on time. The more time you allow, the less stress you're going to experience. My second tip is to pack plenty of snacks and water, especially high protein snacks, uh, peanut butter, boiled eggs, uh, could be cold cuts, uh, nuts. The, the more pro high protein snacks that you have, that's gonna give your child energy for longer and avoid a lot of crankiness along the way. And especially if you are traveling by plane, uh, which are notoriously dry. It's really easy for, for children and adults to become dehydrated. So pack plenty of water. When you're offered water on a flight, uh, make sure you take it any chance you get. Number three is to play games. Uh, if you are traveling by car, one of uh, my family's favorite games to play when my kids were little was the alphabet game where players would try to find each letter of the alphabet on either a road sign or on a license plate. Uh, there's also 20 questions which can be played on a plane or a train. Uh, and I'm thinking of something, is it animal, vegetable, or mineral? And players get to, to ask 20 yes or no questions to try to guess what that person is thinking of. You can also um, bring some games along with you, card games or other simple games, uh, to bring out at a time when children are starting to get restless or bored. My fourth tip is to pack a tote uh, with arts and craft supplies, uh, paper, colored pencils, crayons. Uh, colored pencils and paper can also allow uh, you and your child to play games like tic-tac-toe or hangman. Um, and older children, you could bring along knitting needles and yarn or crochet project to keep their hands occupied. And my fifth tip is to also allow plenty of quiet time to relax. I would not recommend keeping your child occupied the entire trip. It's really important for kids to just sit quietly and observe the scenery, nap and rest. And that quiet time is going to be really regenerating for you too and allow you to get to your destination without much stress. Now, all of these tips are designed to keep your child occupied without the use of media. It would be so easy to just hand a child an, a cell phone or an iPad to play with, but often this gets kids wound up even more. And if they are passively just watching a movie, yeah, they'll be quiet for the length of that movie, but when it's over, they're gonna have excess energy to burn and they usually get cranky. And in other videos and on my blog, I've talked about some of the detrimental, detrimental effects of media on young children. So these are media-free tips. That said, 
The one exception I might make in terms of media are audiobooks and stories, uh, quality stories. At Bella Luna Toys, we sell CDs, audiobooks uh, by the storyteller Jim Weiss. And he has stories from very young children, animal tales and fairy tales, to stories for older children, stories of King Arthur and Greek myths that are not only educational, um, but they're also very engaging. And by listening to a story, instead of watching a video, it's really developing your child's imagination and inner picturing uh, capabilities. So I hope that helps. Uh, I hope some of these tips make your family travel this summer a little easier and stress-free. As always, I invite your comments and questions and feedback. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Mm -hmm.